All right, uh, it's uh, May 5th, uh, Cinco de Mayo uh, 2019, and uh, taking a hike up the hill. Um, it's been a very wet year this year, and uh, everything is uh, uh, completely uh, overgrown. Um, it's incredible. Uh, the mustard uh, plant is just off the hook. Um, uh, so, uh, I've only been on one hike this year, unfortunately, and I uh, didn't get any uh, anything. So we'll see how we do today. Um, should be a good day. Right now, uh, it's probably uh, about 9 in the morning and uh, upper 60s in temperature, uh, forecast for mid-70s. So should be a good day. Um, we'll see what we get. Hopefully, uh, it's not going to be so overgrown that... Uh, I won't be able to, uh, you know, go down the trails that I like, but, you know, should be some good opportunities up here. Let's see what we get. So, uh, here's one of the trails that I, I like to head up, uh, <clears throat> going up the hill, um, kind of a little shortcut and, uh, anyhow, talk about, uh, how it's overgrown. This is the trail. So a good example of how, uh, how it is this year, um, crazy with this mustard plant. I mean, it's a good thing overall, I think, but uh, does make it a little bit more difficult to spot the uh, snakes, that's for sure. Um, tons of cover, so, you know, I mean, it's good for them, and uh, I, I guess I can make it up this trail, but just to show you how it is this year. All right, we're uh, pretty much up at the top here. Um, and uh, just now the uh, cloud cover is beginning to break. Uh, that's what we want. Uh, I want those, uh, those snakes to be coming out from uh, underneath these uh, boulders in the background and just kind of sitting on the, uh, on the fringe of them, uh, getting, you know, getting warmed up. Uh, it's a little cool right now, but it'll be warming up quick. So uh, I, would say that these are ideal conditions. So let's go get some. All right, first set of boulders and we got one. This one alerted me to its position by starting to rattle. So let's pull this guy out. He looks a little frisky here. Oh yeah, there he is. Gonna watch my step. You gotta make sure you're not gonna step on another one while you're watching the one that you see. Pull him out before he gets underneath something here. Oh. oh. Alright. He wants to get under a bush. Pull him out here. Come on, guy. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm not hooking him right. Got him now. All right. Anyhow, here he is out in the open. Not happy. I mean, I had to, you know, dig him out of the bushes, and he was determined to get back in there. So, anyhow, good way to start the day. Um... I'd say, you know, average uh, adult here, he's probably four foot, something like that. They get way bigger than this. All right, we're going to let this one just get back to where he likes to be. So. Go on. Put him back in the rocks here. Sorry, guy. Go on. <laughs> Sorry for, uh, you know, disturbing you, but anyhow, great start. Um, I'm just going to kind of let that one go where he wants to go and watch my step as, uh, as we continue around. 
All right, not bad. First set of rocks. Nice big uh, spiny lizard sunning himself on this rock. I don't know how close he's going to let me get, but let's see if we can get him on video. Got to watch my step. This is definitely prime rattlesnake country. So. And I'm kind of focusing on that lizard, so I got to kind of keep my wits about me here, but so that lizard doesn't even know that I'm looking at him, so maybe we can get close. So there he goes. All right. All right, so a couple years ago, we had a big one uh, living under this set of rocks, so I'm going to go ahead and roll film as we check it out. A couple of good-looking spiny lizards crawling on top of this uh, big boulder. There's a nice little gap under here. Yeah, look at all these spiny lizards. I see three of them on top of this. Little blue belly there, man. This is reptile central right here. See that big old spiny? Yeah, beautiful. Check the perimeter here down in these bushes. to see down in that gap. Let me take a look. Oh yeah, nice little gap down here. I don't see anything. It's underneath this one right here down below me. It's where I found that big one a couple of times uh, a couple years ago. So we're gonna take a good close look at that obviously. And all around here. Uh, let's see anything yet. Boy, this is a pretty prime habitat though on a good day, so. All right, now it's all covered in bushes where it wasn't before, uh, making it even better for the snakes. So right in here is where they have been exposed before, just sitting out there. I don't see any now. Boy, this is a good set right here. <laughs> My God, where's that spiny? Nothing there today, but maybe later. Okay, just spotted one. Um, at least the tail of one. I don't know if I'm going to get this one, but you can at least see the tail sticking out. Tried to pull him out with the hook, but went back in way under that rock. So I don't know if I can lift that rock, but maybe we can hook him out. So let's see what we can do. Oh boy. All right, well, no, that rock's not, not gonna budge. 
I don't think. Let's see if we can dig this one out a little bit. I don't want to put my hand too close there. Yeah, he's under there. It's a heavy rock. See if I can uh, No, there's no way. Nope, that one got away, but we got his tail on film. <laughs> I, I count that as two, you know, at least we saw that one. All right, let's go find some more. All right, here's a, uh, here's a juvenile. Um, nice little uh, tight coil beside this boulder again in uh, actual contact with the boulder, <laughs> as they will. I just may leave that one where it is. Um, I'm going to, uh, though, snap a picture. So here we go. All right, so he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to stay still. So anyhow, there he is. Frisky little guy. Kissing. And everything. <laughs> Boy, this one likes to stand its ground. Okay, well, anyhow. This is where he was. All right, see if we can get another. All right, that was a, uh, a good day uh, on top of the hill. Um, got the two and a half uh, rattlesnakes. Um, that one got away under the rocks, but that's okay. Uh, got some uh, film of, of it, I believe. And uh, once again, man, they're all in contact with the, uh, the boulders. So that's the formula, you know, if you want to find these snakes, you uh, find a bunch of boulders, you go in the morning uh, before it gets too hot, and you find them just, you know, around the perimeters of those uh, boulders. So anyhow, uh, there we go. Be keeping my eyes open on the way down. I'll let you guys know if I find something, but uh, otherwise, uh, I guess this is a wrap.